You're just going to have to trust me, that's all. Thanks, love. Young girl, get out of my mind. First airing in 2003, Early Doors is a British television sitcom set in a Manchester pub. The show follows the lives of the bar staff as well as its regular customers. What's going on here? Oh, bloody machine. It's not on this. You're right. Do you want me to go and tell the landlord? He'll sort it out for you. Oh, I and sort me out first. Welcome to The Rewind. Today, we'll be counting down the top 10 best episodes of Early Doors. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for good luck. Number 10. Sad News at the Grapes No one expected this. I'm gonna really miss him. Forged banknotes are being passed over the counter, but who is the culprit? This can only be solved by Manchester's two laziest cops. Policeman Phil and Nige are on the case with their exceptional sleuthing skills. Busy Friday night in here. Get one of them passed over the bar. Wouldn't spot it with a magnifying glass, would you? No chance. Number 9. Quiz Night The answer is... Pickles. Ah! <laughs> the pub hosts a quiz night, and all the regulars form teams to compete for a box of chocolates. Ken, who is usually reserved, surprises everyone with his vast knowledge and leads his team to victory, much to their delight. You have to wear the session gown now, Ken. <laughs> oh, no way. Number 8. Opening Time Dad, who's is that? Is. I've told you my class is getting bigger and I need more room. You'll have to move your train set out there before the end of next week. In the first episode of Early Doors, we're introduced to The Grapes, a cozy pub in Manchester, and its lively group of regulars. This episode showcases the tight-knit community that is formed within the pub, with its patrons supporting and teasing each other in equal measure. It introduces the humorous banter and camaraderie that defines early doors and gives viewers a taste of the warm and welcoming world within the show. <laughs> Number 7. Do You Like the Circus? Scissor Happy, the address is on Newbridge Lane. That's the place. The regulars continue to gossip about Ken and Tanya, and his relationship with Mel has turned distinctly cold since her and Dean got close and personal during last week's quiz. Tommy gets a new job, and Jumping Joe gets a gig. Hey, guess what? I found out who he's planning on taking out for a drink on Thursday night. Who is it? Me mum. Your mum? Yeah. Can you believe it? Number 6. Drugs Bust Friday night on the pull. Another Ooh. nail in his coffin. All right, he's a break, lads, eh? Yeah, leave him alone. 2.20 that late. Cheers. The tension in the grapes mounts when the winner of the football card is announced. Duffy and Joe advise Liam on how to win back a lost love, and Jean is hoping desperately that she'll be able to go to Crete. On your own? Yeah. You know I can't smile without you. Number five, marital problems. It's about a month now, in eh? Yeah, well, you enjoy it while you can, Melanie. It's a lovely time, this. A lot is going on with some of the grapes' usual faces. As suggested by the title, Joe's marriage is in crisis with no telling of a solution in the horizon. Meanwhile, Melanie's boyfriend has a big surprise for her, and the hospital denies all knowledge of Sheila's husband. It's the same thing I'm wishing for. I hope it does. Number 4. Feeling Poorly Found him work, taking a couple of days off. I'll look after the pub till you get back on your feet. Well, you can't do that. Ken the landlord is laid up with the flu as the police arrive to celebrate their successful drugs bust. Duffy's in no mood for celebrating and faces up to the prospect of single life, seeking solace in the bottom of his beer glass. Has anyone uh, got a tin opener? Number 3. On the Mobile What you tell by looking at him? Yeah, we see criminals every day of the week, Ken. You can spot one a mile off. Well, you can't get much past you two, fellas. Through the chaos, the regulars learn the true value of their local pub and the bonds they share. 
While the temporary traffic lights are still troubling Eddie, policemen Phil and Nige have a near-death experience, and Jean's hopes of going to Crete are dashed. Now then, what do you think of these? Number 2. Breakfast <laughs> <laughs> It is the trip out to York races, and the big boy's Beano is ready for takeoff. Melanie finally gets to meet her real dad as Kevin waits nervously for her return. The pub goes into uproar as Tommy buys around, and the mystery over who's putting cigarette butts in the urinals is finally solved. Bloody hell, they shoot you, shite hawk! And number one, part time. Oh, bloody hell, you can't have me, I'm the DJ. I think that's why I want you. As the series comes to an end, the regulars gather for a bittersweet farewell party. Emotions run high as they reminisce about their time together, sharing laughter, tears, and heartfelt goodbyes, promising to stay in touch and to never forget their beloved pub. I think it's all over. It is now. All right, folks, that's going to be it for today. What did you think of our list? Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a like and please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out these other videos from The Rewind and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss any of our future uploads.